Hey, what's up, body bags? Uh, I got a quick review for you for a movie that I don't know if I consider it horror, but it's in the genre enough to where I feel like I could talk about it or whatever. But um, yeah, I just watched this the other night, probably two nights ago, and I had seen this years and years and years ago, but way before the Blu-ray would have even came out or anything like that. And uh, it was, uh, I didn't really remember a whole lot about it. I've never been like big into anime or anything like that like any animation i ever watch was like south park or family guy or whatever but not really never really got big into anime or whatever but i wanted to check this out again just because i've always loved that cover and i've just wanted to get a little bit more into it so i was at best buy and i decided to pick this up but uh just a quick general kind of plot synopsis um it's like after the Third World War, and I think in Tokyo, yeah, in Tokyo, and it's like kind of like a, it's in the future, so it's kind of like there's like it's almost like a, what the hell is that movie, Blade Runner, type thing or whatever. It's in the future a little, and it's like everything's futuristic, hence this bike, and there's just massive cityscapes, and the poor are real poor, but the rich are rich or whatever. And there's uh, this guy right here, um, Tetsuo in Canada. They're part of this like motorcycle gang and all that, and Acura is like this higher godlike being or whatever. It, it gets into really like bizarro kind of plot points or whatever, and there's a lot of like hidden meaning and stuff, and stuff represents other stuff, and it's one of those ones you really gotta sit down and think about. But um, <clears throat> that's all I'm really gonna say about it. You know, I don't remember if it was Tetsuo or Canada. One of them ends up running into this kid. Uh, that has the power of Akira or whatever and he ends up getting these powers and they end up experimenting on him and then that's what then you're kind of looking at his fever dreams and all that and a, it's like really nightmarish kind of scenes and stuff and then you know he ends up getting all crazy towards the end it's just all out war and stuff and it's a really good movie I'd say even if you weren't into anime definitely check this out just as like a film uh, this movie came out in 88, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, 1988. So it's an older movie, but the, the film and the just the film quality of this is phenomenal. Um, I definitely have to say if you're a fan of Ghost in the Shell or even The Matrix or Blade Runner, you definitely need to check this out. It's just really good. The animation's top-notch. The scenes are engaging even if you're not a hundred percent sure what's going on at that moment the scene is still really fun to watch entertaining um the nightmare scenes are pretty brutal pretty awesome like there's a lot of blood a lot of violence like you know they're holding in their guts and all that there's just a lot of grotesque imagery in this it definitely deserves its r rating um two hours long but it runs really quick um the blu-ray looked really good i don't remember what the old dvd would have looked like but i'm sure this looks a lot better it looked really solid um, this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. As far as special features go, it has Acura sound clip, uh, director interview, storyboard collection, the writing on the wall, original trailers, original commercials, a special feature on restoring Acura, glass, glossary, U.S. trailer, and other trailers. And it says, this 25th anniversary edition includes all three audio tracks, the remastered Japanese, the original English, and the remastered English. So... Uh, it's pretty cool. I wish there was a commentary or something on this, but unfortunately there isn't. But, you know, you can get this for 15 bucks at Best Buy. It's definitely worth it. Really solid animated flick, but it's also a really solid flick in general. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you all next week. Peace.